scandal for episode 21 of season 4 review. Um, okay, so let's start with the Who's Foxtail. Um, so it's Melly, and whoa, well, that shocked me. It doesn't excite me or impress me or make me interested in the Foxtail, Foxtail B613 storyline. It just makes me even more annoyed. Like, you don't need to involve any more people in this stupid mess that just needs to die. Um, I liked parts of this episode. So I liked what this episode was about. I liked the story it was getting through. But there was like things like, did Fitz forget that Melly was raped and that this would obviously upset her. Um, I... I liked the Litz phone call. I know some people would wish that Fitz would stop giving in to Olivia, but for me, I like that he does because it's his it's his character trait is that he will always say yes to Olivia and give her what she wants and do whatever he, she she wants. Um, what I would like would be for Olivia to stop asking him for favors. Because she didn't used to ask for this many favours. She's gotten, she's now asked for more and more favours than she used to. But what I would like for them is to actually have a proper conversation and for her to stop asking for favours. But in saying that, I still did like the phone call because it was nice and there was some sweet moments and they had a little laugh and they both like kind of whined about their jobs and she took off her shoes and got comfy on the seat while talking to him. So. I liked it. Um, Jake and Russell with beers talking about command mimicking them. The mimic mimicking command Papa Pope was actually pretty good. Like the mimicking part that was I found that funny. So, but what the hell? You're not meant to be talking and Jake you've just showed us even more why you're irrelevant. You don't love Olivia. You just think you do and you are <laughs> trying to be with stay with Olivia to be safe and I've always known this and you just made me hate you even more and um you're lying in bed with stabbed wounds and then you're up walking like please what even is this no one gets better in a day like that um I liked um the I love um Quinn and um Huck working together I love Huckleberry Quinn um I loved the Quinn and Olivia taking um, working together more like just them. I like that where she was giving the look behind the bad um, um, lawyers back who actually turned out to be B613. What a surprise! If you didn't tell that sarcasm. Um, but um, I liked that bit and I, um, I liked Olivia. In this episode she she felt more kind of like herself and she was very cold to Jake and I liked that and I did like um, Melly and, and Fitz grieving over Jerry um, <laughs> again though <laughs> just the way this show is so weird she, she, he's there hugging Melly and then talking about Liv like <laughs> The second time he's done that. It's so weird, but I love this show and so much and the characters but wow, just weird. Um I liked the um Abby and Olivia scene where they were having lunch. I loved all of that whole interaction, it was so cool. I just found it really funny and I liked seeing their friendship that way and I really liked that. Um I liked Melly's speech, but I still she sh um, following all the things they've said about how she can be senator. I don't actually see how she can be. Like, does she even is she even a resident of that place? No, I don't think so. She lives in the White House, which is in DC. Like, and before then it was like somewhere else. So I don't really understand. But um, um, so overall, I liked about a quarter of this episode 
um, and the I like the overall storyline that didn't include B613. But the B613 part I hated, but what else is new? Um, so yeah, can you jade out?